is uh, Section 1 TV. Uh, we're hanging out here at the uh, new gym in, uh, at North St. Sampy High School for the uh, shop open house. Um, I don't know if you like chess, but for people who really like chess, there's an awesome gigantic chess board here made by Aaron Watt, who's this gentleman here to my right. Aaron, how long did this how long did this take you to put together? All year long. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds about right. Um, tell me, uh, give me uh, the, the breakdown on it, uh, your components, the type of wood you used, all that great stuff. Components, well, mm, basically it's just a lot of gluing and joining, you know. Um, the side trim, I individually glued each one of these pieces, glued and screwed them together, and then I cut them to size. Um, all the all the trims, multiple pieces, as you can see, I've inlaid strips to hold my glass top on. Everything was hand carved or lathed. I lathed all the pieces and I hand carved the legs. Um, what uh, what type of wood are we using to distinguish our our white and black pieces here? Uh, these are the dark pieces are walnut and the lighter pieces are maple. That's the lighter wood is maple. My gosh, is this? What was the what, what was the plan? What when you thought I'm gonna make a giant chess set? Uh, what, what were you thinking? You might keep um, this? Or? <laughs> well, me and my me and my grandpa, we used to play a lot of chess before he left on his mission a couple oh, okay. a year and a half or so ago. And this is my gift to him for when he gets home from awesome. his mission. And just kind of, you know, he mean he means a lot to me, so I made this for him. Well that is a pretty sweet homecoming present. I bet he is going to be just blown away as much as I am by this. The most difficult pieces as you might imagine were the knights. Well they look they look great to me. I am just wow. And uh, and of course let's not leave this out. He did get first place in the competition. Well deserved. So let's see step a little bit closer here Shauna. <clears throat> All right, now white always goes first, right? Right. And uh, I can move, when you're moving a pawn for the first time, you can move it two spaces? Right. All right. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, and uh, the knight can go, was it two forward, one over? Yep. Okay. And. You move diagonally to make a kill, right? right? And there you go. I got ambitious. <laughs> okay. Awesome. See, see, we just wanted to make sure that we could demonstrate that, yes, it's playable. It's completely interactive. <laughs> it's this new sensation called actual reality. <laughs> cool. So, and oh, and these, oh, the, we saw these in the shop when we were passing through. These are our, your checkered, your checker pieces. Yep, so you go either awesome. way. If you don't like chess, you can play checkers, I guess. Well, that is pretty sweet. So does Grandpa have a place, uh, or do you have, yeah, well, he hasn't seen yet, obviously. Where do you think it'll wind up at, uh, at uh, your Grandpa's place? Um, he'll probably actually just stay with us, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it'll just probably end up at my house one way or another, I, I would imagine, for now. Well, well congratulations on, uh, on your you. first place win the competition here. And I am just, wow, I'm just blown away. That is an awesome chess set. Thank you. Uh, we just spoke with uh, Aaron uh, watching us go, and now we're talking with his brother, Jared, who has an interesting little project as well. Uh, talk us through this. Um, it's a coffee table. But not just any coffee table. I, like, I call it the lazy coffee table because... <laughs> Like when you're sitting down, no, nobody likes to bend over to eat your food. No, of course not. Pull that baby up. <laughs> Put it on your lap. So, oh, like if the couch is about here? Yeah, so you just be like... I could so use this in my living room. Oh, my gosh. It's a great feature. That is fantastic. And, of course, we left the glass out, I guess, for just yeah, for the sake of... Uh, we don't want to break anything here in the, uh, in the gym. We haven't ordered it yet. Okay. <laughs> well, that is awesome. And, and you got first place also. What was the different categories that we had here? Um, this is the first year students. Oh, okay. This is my first year doing this. And right. in the two year students. And he won the overall anyway. But, oh, okay. And there's the three to four year students over there. Cool. Alrighty. Well, thanks for showing off your work there. This, thanks for very, asking. 
a very interesting, uh, uh, thoughtful, and creative family here, the Watts's. Thank you, and again, congratulations. Uh, we're here talking with Richard Peterson. He's one of the industrial arts teachers here at North Sampede High School. Uh, tell us about your program. Uh, well, I'll tell you about this program here we've got going. We've got a special needs program where we're trying to make it safe for all students to be able to come and join us in the wood shop, regardless of where they are academically. Uh, we team them up with uh, advanced students that have perfect safety records and, and just good kids. Uh, and they've been able to produce some wonderful projects, everything from clocks, nightstands, uh, this beautiful <laughs> round top oh, wow. uh, chest that they've made here, uh, which is very nice. Got a lot of checkerboards. And just whatever it is that they want when we team them up with these advanced students. The advanced students are the, the pieces that make that whole program work. Uh, how long has uh, there been a special needs class? This is the first semester we've tried it, and it's been a very good success. Awesome. Very good. And obviously board games, very popular this year, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we've done a lot of checkerboards. Has the special needs class been uh, primarily in woodwork then? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is, we're hoping that in the future it'll reach out to some of these other uh, CT, mm -hmm. career technology education oh. classes. Uh, but right now, it's the pilot program has been in the woods area. Right. So. All right. Well, thank you, and congratulations with the program and uh, the work that your students are doing, and uh, especially you know reaching out to uh, students with special needs. It's very, very uh, important, and uh, I'm sure that means a lot to their families as well. Thank you. It means a lot to me as well. Well, we're hanging out now with uh, Kevin Allen, uh, another one of, one of the uh, industrial arts teachers here at North Sanpete High School, and uh, we're kind of kicking back on this very nice bench here. Would you like to tell us a little bit about this? Uh, we have a farrier that just gives us his old shoes and we take them and uh, make some different things out of it. We're not done with these yet. We're uh, going to put some plasma cuts in the back of maybe some elk or some horses or, oh, cool. or something like that. But uh, it's a good use for some old shoes and uh, maybe some patio equipment or whatever they want to use it for. So, so deck, chairs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about, about the event, about what's happening this evening. Uh, the woods project or the wood shop and the metals project uh, we try to do this every year to kind of help the public see what we do in the shop uh, see some of the skills that the kids are learning uh, not only that they're gonna use in high school but that they can take as a, a lifelong learner and and use them uh, cabinet making uh, welders right now the average welders age is 56 and so uh, Somebody's got to replace some guys some of these days, and it's not going to be very long. But uh, so we're trying to we're trying to keep welding from becoming a dying art form. Uh, yes. Okay. I imagine shows like Monster Garage helped out. Mary, ever watch that? I never have, but I'm sure it has. I'm sure you've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you give us a quick tour of some of the pieces that we have on display here? Okay. Let's let's start at the beginning. <laughs> let's go out here then, if we're going to do the beginning. Oh, there's more outside. Okay, cool. These are two trailers that the kids have built in uh, shop class, in metal shop. Uh, they're not repairs. They built these from scratch, from right from the bottom up. Uh, four four-wheeler, it's a four-place four-wheeler trailer. Uh, they've got a ramp on the back of them. Uh, they designed them, and then they build them in, in the shop class. So these are the advanced welding students that do these. Now, if, uh, if someone in the community say, well, needs a trailer or some other kind of uh, interesting metal work done. Can they come to the high school and see see how you guys can help them out? They can. Uh, we'll do, we got a lot of kids here that need projects and want projects and the more we can keep them involved and the community involved, the better we like it. All right, so what would be the requirement for uh, for someone bringing a project in? Uh, they Usually we require at least half down now. Okay. Uh, we kind of got you know, we didn't do that before, and we built a couple of things, and uh, then they didn't want them. And so we'd, we'd probably require at least half down on the material, okay. and then we can't charge a lot for the shop fee because it is a public school, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we do charge for the materials, and, you know, they'd have to pay for the materials and then the shop costs, the consumables, welding rod, grinders, things like that that we'd use. 